Welcome to Speed Reading for Awesome People. My name is David Segura and I'll be your instructor during this course. This is the first lesson of the course. During this lesson, we're going to start off by learning what speed reading is and how it works, and then we'll begin your training right away with your first set of visual exercises. By the time that you finish this video, you will be able to read faster. You'll even get to test your reading speed before and after the exercises so you can measure your exact progress today. Ready to get started? Perfect. So what exactly is speed reading? Speed reading is simply optimized reading or a more efficient way to read that lets you read entire groups of words or phrases and immediately understand their meaning instead of reading one word at a time like most normal readers do. This naturally allows you to learn faster and remember more of what you read. But how does it work? By learning how to turn words directly into mental images. But in order to understand what this means, Let's take a quick look at how the normal reading process works, and then we can see how speed reading improves that process to be more efficient. When we first learned how to read, we first learned how to turn words into sounds. We learned that every letter of the alphabet corresponds to a unique sound, and then we learned how to put those sounds together to form words we could understand. So this is what the process looks like when we read normally. First, our eyes will look at a word, then our vocal cords will make a movement to create the sound of the word. Next, we'll hear the sound of the word. And finally, our mind will interpret the sound and turn it into a mental image it can understand and remember. So what's interesting is that even when reading silently, this is the way that most of us read. We're so used to hearing the sound of every word that even when reading silently, we'll still hear a voice inside our minds repeat the words as we read them. So it's no surprise that most people simply read at the same speed at which they talk because they're actually hearing the sound of every single word. However, your brain is able to process information a lot faster than this. And that's where speed reading comes in. Speed reading will show you how to turn those words directly into mental images without having to hear the sound of every single word. So by learning how to silence that inner voice inside of your mind, You'll be able to get better and faster so that you can gradually read larger and larger groups of words. Let's take a quick look at how much faster your mind can process images instead of sounds. Take a look at the following images. Simply observe and notice how, without even trying, your mind is able to capture thousands of details. There's even a saying, a picture is worth a thousand words. So the most interesting thing here is that you don't have to hear the sound of any specific color or any shape or any object, yet you're still able to understand everything just fine. Because your mind is able to process everything in a purely visual way a lot faster than sounds. You can see that without any struggle, your brain can absorb thousands of details per second visually while it can only hear very few words in that same amount of time. So it's quite clear that images are the brain's preferred and fastest way of handling information. And that's what speed reading is all about. Reading words faster than you can hear them by turning them directly into mental images. So to summarize, the biggest difference between normal reading and speed reading is that normal reading is all about turning words into sounds one word at a time, while speed reading is about reading words faster than you can hear them by turning them directly into mental images. But how do you learn to read like this? How do you become a speed reader? Well, just like with normal reading, speed reading is a skill that you have to develop through practice and lots of training. Overall, the lessons in this course are designed to guide you through this process in three stages. This way, you'll develop the skill one step at a time and you'll build up speed and intensity as you move along the course. In the first stage, We'll start off by simply training your eyes to physically move faster. This will train your eyes to start picking up words at a slightly faster pace and to start eliminating many of the bad reading habits that we've all developed over the years, such as regression and rereading. Now, during this first stage, we'll also practice lots of mental exercises because we'll learn the foundations of how the mind works, how long-term memory is created, and how to optimize the learning process. In stage two, we'll then move on to more advanced exercises that will train you to silence your inner voice and to increase the number of words that you can capture at a time. 
In the third stage, we'll put it all together by focusing on exercises to help you visualize faster and to create more permanent memories. Most importantly, this course is designed to help you get results. For that reason, we've condensed each lesson to be about 15 minutes each. This way, the course will be a lot easier to fit into your schedule. You can advance through the course at your own pace, but make sure to complete at least one lesson per day. Remember that knowing how speed reading works won't make any difference in your reading unless you actually practice the exercises in the course. Even practicing for just 15 minutes a day will be a lot more beneficial than not practicing at all. So let's go ahead and measure your current reading speed so that once you practice the exercises, you can measure your reading speed again and see how much progress you've made. We'll conduct the reading test right here on the screen. Go ahead and seat yourself in a comfortable position so that you can easily read the words on the screen. If necessary, adjust the video settings to full screen to make the words appear larger. A bell will sound when it's time to start and the text will populate on the screen. At that time, simply begin reading at your normal speed for a full minute and another bell will ring when the 60 seconds are up. We'll begin in 10 seconds. Feel free to pause the video now if you need more time. Otherwise, begin reading when the bell rings. Now, it's time to measure how many words you read. Find the number closest to the last word you read to find how many words you were able to read in one minute. Very good. Now, write this number down. This is your current reading speed. So now, let's go ahead and begin with your exercises for today. You'll see a red circle on the screen that will move from side to side horizontally. All you have to do is follow it with your eyes. The focus of these exercises will be to simply help your eyes move faster on their own. When you're reading, your eyes make hundreds of movements. However, since most of the time they're reading slow, they've gotten used to moving at a very slow speed, so they don't actually move too fast on their own. Furthermore, during your normal day, your neck is the one that moves your head. So during this exercise, make sure that you're sitting comfortably, preferably in the same spot you were when you were reading. We'll practice the exercise three times, one minute each time. We'll begin in 10 seconds. Feel free to pause the video now if you need more time. Otherwise, begin following the red circle with your eyes when the bell rings. <laughs> Great job. Now, take a moment to close your eyes and allow them to relax. As you're able to see, 
Your eye muscles are quite powerful and have the ability to move very quickly in any direction, but they're not used to making so much movement on their own. These exercises will help strengthen and condition your eyes so they can begin moving faster and faster on their own as you progress through the course and as you learn to read faster. Keep resting for a few more seconds before we begin the next exercise. One of the easiest ways to relax your eyes is to close them while you flex the muscles in your arms and your legs. Hold for a few seconds and then simply relax your entire body. This will cause your eyes to relax right along with the rest of your body. If you're ready, we'll begin practicing the next exercise in 10 seconds. Feel free to pause the video now if you need more time. Great job. That concludes exercise two. Now take a moment to close your eyes and allow them to relax. If you wish, go ahead and flex the muscles in your arms and your legs, hold for a few seconds, and then relax your body to allow your eye muscles to completely relax. If you're ready, we'll begin practicing the next exercise in 10 seconds. Feel free to pause the video now if you need more time. Great job! You've now finished all three exercises in this lesson. Go ahead and give your eyes a good rest. As you close your eyes, flex the muscles in your arms and your legs, hold for a few seconds, and then simply relax. The exercises you just practiced will help your eyes move at a slightly faster pace next time you read without any conscious effort on your part. We'll now take a second reading test to measure your progress. As you read the next passage, there's nothing that you really have to do differently. You might notice though that this time, instead of you waiting to hear the entire sound of every word, your eyes will begin marking a slightly faster pace than normal, and that's completely fine. Simply focus on understanding the words on the page. We'll conduct the test again right here on the screen. 
So go ahead and seat yourself in a comfortable position so that you can easily read the words on the screen. If necessary, adjust the video settings to full screen to make the words appear larger. A bell will sound when it's time to start and the text will populate on the screen. At that time, simply begin reading at your normal speed for a full minute and another bell will ring when the 60 seconds are up. We'll begin in 10 seconds. Feel free to pause the video now if you need more time. Otherwise, begin reading when the bell rings. Excellent. Now let's measure how many words you read. Find the number closest to the last word you read and count accordingly to find out how many words you were able to read in one minute. Very good. This is your new reading speed. How did you do? Keep in mind that this was a small sample of how powerful these exercises can be. After only exercising for three minutes like we did today, most people are able to notice an immediate jump in their reading speed. Now, imagine how much faster you'll be able to read and learn as you continue through the course, exercising, and building up your speed with every new lesson and new sets of exercises. Congratulations! This marks the end of lesson one. Today, we were able to learn what speed reading is and how it works. We learned that speed reading is simply a more efficient way to read that allows you to learn faster and remember more of what you read. It works by turning words into mental images and not worrying too much about the specific sounds of each word. We also learned that you can quickly develop this skill through a series of physical and mental exercises, which this course will teach you in detail. In lesson two, we'll continue with more training and a more intense set of visual exercises. See you in the next lesson.